Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. He still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Right, and maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwin. It might surprise you yet. Anyway, gotta run. See you around. Yep, up, up, and away. Omega Charter series. 
Book One, titled Diplomacy's Edge. When his best friend is killed by a Langley approved drone strike in the mountains of Pakistan. What? What the hell was that? Joy, sir. Sir, you're not allowed to pass. Sir, I can't let you through. Got my orders. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which, of course, is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Would you believe my luck? I I'm at the it. lobby checking. You got out. an invite? Just get out of here, all right? Okay. Turn around now. How or well you just saved yourself a lot of trouble. Sir, are you suggesting that I represent an impression? to fire, sir. No, I... Please. Huh? Now, 
about what's going on. Uh oh, loony alert. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn. African liberation movement. And a good day this encourages you, Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Went out with last year. I forget, you, you brought a home one. Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Jeez, what does General Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say the bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? <laughs> um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are at the far bottom of a very long list. Now, I've already left about Crystal Dawn and more about the guy who sees our Good day to you, sir. Ah, yes. Yeah. Supposed to be hanged as a traitor. You thought about that scenario for a minute or two? Thank you. It feels so much to hang the damn post. what that was. No worries. Must be hearing stuff in your head. I don't see anything. What the hell? Will you cut that out? Command? Command something? Just two seconds. Get someone, okay? Seriously, I will.
back at the school. I've heard them talking. They had fake Crystal Dawn headgear and old Afghan rifles and they were planning to shoot at the protesters. You know, to get things rolling. Jesus. Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not in. That's a shitty outlook, man. We are part of this. You, me, right here, right now. Why yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that'll thwart Zayden's evil scheme. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up yeah, and somebody will. Yeah, go Crystal will. Dawn! You rule! Woohoo! Salam. Hey, what watch you like? your step. Uh, pick a beautiful lamp. Come closer. Come closer. Our colorful lamps are the best in Morocco. Hello again. I know I said I wasn't buying anything earlier, but... Something for my sister. She sent all this uh, mess thing up. Oh, no. Hey, printer. time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Yeah, why don't you go print something? General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so... What'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the Mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, got cold feet, tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Ugh, not smart. According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when... His brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout. The prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. So what did he do? Attention, everyone! You men have done that a fine job. That is General Reza so Zaydan, Crystal keeper Dawn are on of the everyone's lips. Lips. That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running.
shot. Find that shooter. I've got him. Tell ya, I don't care what anyone says. That Zayden's not all he's cracked up to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny uniform and an ego to match. Oh, <laughs> you're preaching to the choir, man. Mr. Orlando, how is our favorite bank? Lousy rat. Uh, no can do. Only officers are allowed in. Zayden's orders. You're dismissed. You're dismissed. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Zidane won't expect resistance from a tied-up prisoner.
time to decide. What should I do? Well done. Tell me you're sleeping outside. There's plenty of time. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Officer? Whoa. Ah, it's okay. No worries. You do realize I could die right here. You may be a... Keep going. That's it, sir. Thank you. Report at the reception desk. What? That was Connie Engstrom. Please go to the reception desk. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. It's insane, if you ask me. Citizen. Oh, come on, as if anyone doubted he did it. Well, maybe Olander has access to information guy. we don't. Didn't Did you think see of that? that? He's the cousin. Okay. He wouldn't have to use the hand over here. It is not fair. It is. It is. It is. You can't keep it in your own circumstances. If I had known... Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald, it is. Believe me. Yeah, no, do not put me on hold. Oh, uh, oh what I wouldn't give for a lung full of sweet, sweet nicotine right about now. Don't...
Connie Engstrom, monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. One moment, sir. I'm gonna have to pat you down. Go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg. Please go to the massage room. Stay right here. I'll be back in a minute. He a okay. Well, of it's just procedure. He had a daughter, Eva. In the loosest biological sense. He That's fine. Have a nice day, sir. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please. Call me Klaus. Massage guy. Yeah, right, of course. <laughs> well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Gets down. Now head towards an exit. Compromised, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fannin. Information. 
on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Dig a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. Thank you.